Good evening, and welcome to our production of Dr. Newhart's Christmas Cure. Um, we are so glad that you could join us this evening, and it's actually it was a beautiful day today. Um, the kids have been working hard, and they're excited to share um, with you um, this program. So to start us off, we're going to go ahead and um, have prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we just want to thank you so much for your wonderful blessings and um, our Hillcrest students and our staff and our community and our parents and our church. Um, we just love you so much and all the many blessings that you've given to us and how you always um, guide us through the dark days and um, through the light days. We love you so much and we're so excited to have this experience um, to share with the parents and the church family. In your name, amen. Dr. Newhart. Yes, we'll be here. See you then. Christmas bells are ringing, they're ringing off the wall. Everybody's called to say they're sick, sick, sick. Christmas bells are ringing, they're ringing in my ear. The doctor isn't here, but better get here quick. These Christmas bells are not what you think. These Christmas bells could drive you to the brink. This Christmas I wish everyone was well So I could get a break from these Christmas bells Dr. Newhart? Oh, Dr. Newhart, it's you. I don't know what's going on here, but here it is Christmas Day and everybody's calling for an appointment. That's great, well at least one of us thinks so. I'm working on the holidays. The phone is ringing off the hook and you're not even here. Here? Oh, here they come. You're on your way, well you better be. These Christmas bells are not what you think. These Christmas bells could drive you to the brink. This Christmas I wish everyone was well. So I could get a break. Oh, please give me a break. So I could get a break from these Christmas bells. Hold, please. Okay, okay. Come on in. Hurry it up. Here we are, Dr. Newhart's clinic. Look, TJ, you and Will want to feel better, don't you? We all do. Yeah, I don't know what's wrong with me. Believe me, Corey, I understand. That's why I brought you all here. Nurse Philpott, my friends need to see the doctor. 
and fast. And what's your problem? Our problem? Myself. Take a seat. The doctor will be in in a minute. Excuse me, Nurse Busspot? That's Nurse Philpot. Oh, what's Dr. Newhart like? Dr. Newhart? Dr. Newhart loves kids. Yes! Dr. Newhart hates shots. Yes! Dr. Newhart candy. Yes! Dr. Newhart is a girl. I'm Dr. Newhart. How do you do? Why anyone could tell what's wrong with you? Your joy has jumped the wagon. Your fun has fled the town. Christmas is here, but you're feeling down. I'm Dr. Newhart, and I'm pretty wise. I always made a grade above the guys. I think that I can help you, at least I'll do my best. But first I need to ask you to take a little test. That's me, MD. Let's begin the examination. Nurse Philpott, would you record my observations, please? Would you say, ah, uh, uh, stick out your tongue? Now stretch your arm in front of you, just one. 
close your eyes and touch your nose. Take your time. Very good, now would you cough? That sounds fine. Now take a breath. Now give a sigh. Now place your right hand over your right eye. Count the fingers that you see. One, two, three. Now let's check your hearing. Repeat after me. Dr. Newhart. Dr. Newhart. Dr. Newhart. Dr. Newhart. It's good to see you again, Erin. You too, Dr. Newhart. I take it your friends have the CDDs, Christmas Day Dumps. Yeah, they all got tons of stuff for Christmas, but... They still aren't happy? You got it. Can you help us, please? Same here. Yeah, me too. I'm afraid the Christmas Day Dumps are just a symptom of something far more serious. Oh, no! Nurse Volpot, would you page my interns? Okie dokie, Doc. Paging Dr. Frick, paging Dr. Frack. Paging doctors frickin' frack. Who are they? Let's go. They're young doctors who are still studying medicine. Why do you call them interns? I think you'll see. Dr. Oh. Dr. Newhart, do you have a patient for me to see? But it's my turn. No, 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 it's my turn. Now, doctors frickin' frack, you'll both get a turn. See what I mean? Interns. Uh, oh, 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 patients. Patient. Do you have a stomachache? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. A toothache? Uh-uh. A heartache? Uh-uh. A heartache? Yuck. I don't even, I'm too young to like girls. No, TJ. Your heart isn't just for that. Your heart does a lot of things. Dr. Newhart, maybe we should start having them look inside their bodies. Inside our bodies? Oh, no! <clears throat> we'll begin at the bottom. First, you see the phalanges. The tarsus. The tibia. The fibula. Yeah. The femur. Excuse me, but why don't you teach them the way I taught you? Ah, the bone song.
Dr. Newhart, I diagnosed this to be heart trouble. But that's what I was going to say. Yes, but it's not your turn. Well, Dr. Strickenfrack, I believe you're both right. This is a heart problem. Oh, no! Nurse Philpott, would you record my observations, please? Okie dokie, Doc. All right. Of the following items, what should you get for Christmas? You may indicate by a raised hand. She'd better have one long list. Yeah, I can't even remember everything I got. Ready? Ready. Ready. New coat, new clothes, new books, new bows, new boat, new bike, new truck, new tyke, new dolls, new cat, new ball, new bat, new games, new darts, new desk, new heart, huh? new... Hey, 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 hang on there. What was the last one again? A new heart. Anybody here got a new heart for Christmas? No. Not a one, Doc. Well, that might just be the problem. But I've never heard of asking for a new heart for Christmas. Listen, TJ, here's what I tell all my patients. <laughs> There's lots of things you want when Christmas rolls around. Lots of things upon your Christmas list. But won't you save a space when you write them down? And when you do, won't you remember this? You need a new heart for Christmas, a new start for Christmas, a new way to face a brand Christmas. What's wrong with the one we've got? It probably has a hole in it. A hole in my heart? Oh no! Whoa, before we go any further, I demand a second opinion. Yeah, yeah me, me too. too. Now, Corey, just be patient. Make way, make way! Emergency, emergency! All right, you can put it right there. Hi, you're gorgeous. What's the problem? You heartbreaker. Dr. Newhart? Okay, you guys, cut the clowning around. Who are they? They're the orderlies, or as we like to call them around here, the disorderlies. Glad to meet you. We're Larry, Moe, and Curly. What's the problem, Dr. Newhart? The CDDs? Yep, looks like the old hole in heart problem to me. Get out of here. You guys aren't even real doctors. Well, we may be plain old disorderlies, but we know all about heart trouble. Yeah, from poison. Just listen. All the day to a made the hair fall a place inside your finger to need. Got a stomach to eat with a liver underneath, you got two good lungs to breathe. But your heart that beats just isn't complete, though it pumps to all your veins. 
There's an empty space, a little open place in this hole in your heart. It has a name. That holy, holy, holy. Down deep in your heart is a void that you try to avoid. But it aches and it sings and it fills with things, but the things don't bring you joy. And you pop, pop a shot until you drop and you still don't feel any peace. Hide. Heart and he sings. That holy, 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 holy. what you gotta do to set aside all your pride and believe that the baby on the hay grew to be a man one day and he died on the cross for you and me. Put away all your drunk, you don't have to be a muck, cause Jesus wants to see us have fun. When he comes to live in you, here's what he's gonna do, he will feel it and he will overcome. Yeah. made a lot of sense. Maybe we do have a hole in our hearts. Oh no! Dr. Newhart, if we've always had this holy hole, how come we really feel it on Christmas Day? Oh, you've probably had the symptoms for a long time, but they're especially noticeable on Christmas. Tell them why, Dr. Newhart. Well, what's Christmas anyway? A holiday? That's right, and what's a holiday? Holiday means holy day? Correct. And of all the holidays, which one's the holiest? Why, Christmas, of course. Then someone tell me about Christmas. Give me a break. You get presents, you go to parties, you get out of school. No, no, no. Tell me what you know about the holy part. The holy part? That's right, Will. Well, we'll try. And she brought forth her firstborn son and, and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in the manger because there is no room in the inn. And they were in that same country, shepherds watching their flocks. And lo, the angels of the Lord came upon them, and they were sore afraid. Then the angel said, Fear not, I bring you good tidings of great joy. Unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. 
And with haste, they found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. Now when they had seen them, him, they rejoiced and told the people of the town and all those who heard marvel, it marveled those things were, which were told by the shepherds. Now after Jesus was born in Bethlehem, wise men came from the east to worship him. They had seen his star in the east and followed it to the place where he lay. And when they had saw the young child with Mary, his mother, and fell down and worshiped him. And when they had, pres and when they open had opened their treasures, they presented to him gold, frankincense, and myrrh. But Mary kept all these things and pondered them in her heart. And the child grew and became strong in spirit, filled with wisdom, and the grace of God was upon him.
Wow, thinking about that first Christmas makes me feel better already. That's because you put something holy in your heart. Yeah, up to now, I'd forgotten about that part of Christmas. Maybe I was just thinking about all the stuff I'd get. No wonder we're in the dumps. Well, I have to admit it, Dr. Newhart. You did it. We're all better now. Hey, guys, we're cured. Oh, bye. bye. Hey, come on, Eric. But, guys. Wait, you guys can't leave. Nurse Fulpot, call the pink ladies. Attention, all pink ladies. Odd, Mildred, Ethel, report to Dr. Newhart's office immediately. I'm coming, Mildred. Maude, you go on ahead. What? I said, you go on ahead. What's wrong with my head? <laughs> okay, girls, lock the door. Oh, no! Hey, what is this? Yeah, why can't we go? We told you we feel better now. Sure you do. We all feel better when we think of the manger or go to a carol service or help someone in need at Christmas. But that doesn't mean we still don't have heart trouble. Look, Erin, I know you're trying to help us, but we don't need your help anymore, okay? Yeah, we're leaving and we're leaving now. Well, the last part of my examination was to hook you up to the heart monitor, but I believe that won't be necessary. The heart monitor? Yeah, it's like a little computer that lets you look and listen to your heart. Great, we'll finally get to see this hole. Oh no, I'm afraid only you and the Lord know what's inside your heart. But as long as we have this big hole in front of our face called a mouth, it's awfully hard to keep the contents of our heart a secret. Then how can we see what's inside, Dr. Newhart? Well, I have an idea, like, Aaron, you go and let the pink ladies hook you up to the heart monitor while well, Nurse Fulpot brings me a very special letter. What? She said, going to get a letter. No, I don't need a sweater. Dr. Newhart gets. Not that I would ever read your mail, Doctor. What does he mean? Well, the heart is where all your desires are. You know, all the stuff you really want. And some people's desires are not very holy. Oh. Let's see. Here's the letter I received from Aaron after she visited me last Christmas. Now, dear, we are going to put this little sensor on your heart. I can hear it. The beat, Maude. What? I said, dig the beat. Yeah, you have big feet. Sounds healthy. Now you read her the letter, Mildred, and we'll see what shape her heart is really in.
Winner's full part. I haven't seen you this cheerful in weeks. Cheerful? I mean, yes. I mean, no. I mean, I better get back to my magazine. I mean paperwork. So, Erin, when did you get your new heart? Oh, it was when I came to see Dr. Newhart last Christmas. That's why I knew she could help. So that's what makes you so happy. TJ, why don't you and Corey try the heart monitor? No thanks, I'll pass. Me too. But why? I already know what's in my heart. Yeah, a bunch of junk. Oh yeah, but you just took the first step towards getting a new heart. We did? Yeah, first you examine your heart and admit what's inside isn't very holy. Then you ask God to replace it with something that is. Like that holy night? Like the one born on that holy night. He fits perfectly, doesn't he, Aaron? He sure does, and when he fills your heart, it becomes brand new. So how did you do it, Aaron? Yeah, what did you do to get your new heart? Well, Dr. Newhart told me what to say. It's just a simple prayer. A prayer? That's right, Nurse Philpot. Here, I'll show you. Come in, my heart. It seems I forgot something very important. I don't understand, Nurse Philpott. You may not have been in the best mood, but you were certainly efficient. What did you forget? Well, here it is Christmas Day, and I forgot to wish you a Merry Christmas. So, Merry Christmas, Doctor. 
You know, I believe that comes from your heart. You might even say a new heart. You definitely might. Okie dokie, Doc. From now on, things are going to be different around here. Why, just look at this place. Here it is, Christmas Day, and I forgot to put up a tree. That's right. And how about decorations? Sure. Do you have a tree somewhere? Frickin' Frack, that's your job. How about some garland? Disorderlies, go for it. I love red bows. Pink oh, ladies, yes. that's your job. Hey, don't forget the manger scene. The manger scene? I'll do that myself. Finally, this place is gonna look like Christmas. But isn't Christmas almost over? Why no, for you guys, Christmas has just begun. Christmas begins when Christ comes in.
this. Not feeling well, huh? The Christmas Day dumps. Yes, we can help. Hey, everybody, what's the cure? You need a new heart for Christmas, a new heart for Christmas, a new way. One more round of applause. Um, they worked hard. They, they really worked hard. It's lots of hours of practicing at home and at school, and they are probably sick of it um, by the time that is over. Um, but we really, truly blessed are by these wonderful students, and we just want to say thank you so much for sending them to Hillcrest. Um, we appreciate your support as family, as friends, as church families. We cannot do it without you. And uh, we just really, truly are really blessed to have such a great Hillcrest community. So thank you very much for coming out tonight. And um, I am so proud of them. Their hard work paid off, and they did a fabulous job. So thank you very much, Hillcrest students. <laughs> 